Hey y'all, what's up? This is Jesse Both in the 19th hole, and I'm here to do a pro expert guide for you all today. We did the uh, rookie guide yesterday, so we're going to do the pro guide uh, and expert guide today, kind of combined. So hopefully this can help you all out. One thing to keep in mind when you're talking about pro and expert is uh, you can have wind variations between the two divisions. So what might work in one might not work the same way in the other. So for that reason, we're going to talk about several different routes um, on some of these holes. And, you know, if you get a wind in one certain direction, you might have to play a, a whole uh, completely different way than you may play it on pro. So keep that in mind while we're going through the uh, video and just kind of store those different paths in your mind uh, for each hole uh, that we're going to see here today. Uh, so this is the Platinum Resorts Tournament, and it does start on Monday. That's when qualifying starts. And uh, we got the new Golf Clash logo there from a friend. And we got hole number one here. Um, so let's go ahead and get started on it. Um, it is a par five. So par five. And this hole right here is a hole that, um, you know, basically off the tee, uh, there's really going to be one way to play it. Um, you're looking for your landing zone in here, rolling your shot out into this zone right here. Um, the way I like to play this hole is either with a Titan Ball or Kingmaker. Uh, so depending on like well, how many you have in your stash may depend on which one of those you use. Uh, if you have maybe a lower level uh, club that may need a little bit of extra power, uh, you can go with the Titan Ball. Uh, if you have a Tailwind, the Titan Ball will also increase that Tailwind speed, so give you a little bit extra, um, a little bit extra power off that tee. Do be uh, careful that you don't use too much topspin on this shot off the tee box because you can roll into the rough uh, past where my ending circle is. So I like to use the Thor on this hole. I have seen people use the quarterback, uh, but you can also use the extra mile. Uh, any kind of driver that you feel comfortable with, I like to pick one with accuracy. So that's why I like to go with the Thor. Um, if you use the quarterback, you more than likely have to overpower your shot, but 100% accuracy, uh, you know, you can overpower a shot, hit it great, and still be fairly accurate. Um, I would definitely suggest also bring in the Goliath as well for this shot. Um, the reason for that is because your second shot, you will be going, hopefully, maybe going for the rough bump, where you'll be laying it in this zone right here. Um, the reason I say bring the Goliath is if you make your drive too far, you will be out of uh, range for your wood, and then you'll have to have the Goliath, and you want to use to have that extra top spin for the Goliath. Um, for that second shot, I like the rough bump on this hole. Um, you know, uh, you know, I like about one bar of backspin if you're going to be using the wood, let's say like your sniper. Um, but if you have to use the Goliath, you're going to have to use you know one, two bars of top spin to get that same effect of the rough bump. Um, you can also make this shot here with the Guardian if you want to land your shot up in the corner of the green up there. And with the backspin, you can. Um, take it back to the hole. It does slope back down to the hole. So even if you want to go with a guardian shot, you do have a fairly legitimate chance of still getting the albatross as well with that backspin. But I think the the, the money shot is going to be the rough bump with the sniper. So that is definitely going to be what I suggest you're trying to set yourself up for. Um, so definitely have to figure out how far of a drive you can make and still be within range of the um, sniper. I do have a feeling that this hole plays a little bit uphill. So I would say, you know, somewhere around 10, uh, between 10, 20% uphill percentage on the, on the, um, of change on the uh, adjustment for the wind. So let's say if you have five miles per hour of wind and you're going to hit with a sniper. A sniper is one mile per hour per ring usually. So with a 20% adjustment on five miles per hour, that would mean that you would adjust a five mile per hour shot like it was four miles per hour. So it would be Instead of five rings, you'd only adjust it four rings. So just a quick example of how you'd adjust when you're shooting it uphill as opposed to when you're shooting it downhill and you're adding extra wind. So uphill, you take away wind. Downhill, you add extra wind. So anyways, that is hole number one. Not a whole lot of different options and ways to play hole number one. Hole number two, on the other hand, that's a whole new ball game. Hole number two is a par four and it's a tough par four to get that eagle for sure um, the way I like to play it um, is I like to play my shot right about here 
And with top spin, three to four bars of top spin and some left spin, I like to bring it over that rough and those bushes and bounce it over to that area of the, uh, the fairway right there at the end. Um, some people also can play a shot, um, you know, if you have a good tailwind where you land your drive right about in here and you bring it out here. Um, that is also another way to play it. Um, some people prefer just to play it safely where they take their shot out here. Um, if you play it to the right side like that, then you will have most likely a wood, um, and that wood will have to bounce somewhere in that zone right there, uh, and then over the rough uh, to the hole. I think that's more of a difficult way to play this hole. That's not one I would suggest. Um, so a lot of it depends on the wind. If you get any kind of a tailwind um, on this hole, you also have a chance to play uh, a power shot. Um, so with the power shot, you know, you're going to be using, I like to use like the Thor, the Thor, because the Thor is a very easy club to use. You can play it without having to go into landscape mode. Um, it's, it's a very simple uh, level 4, level 5 Thor. It's a, level, a very simple 14 to 15 rings of adjustment. So the way you're going to play that shot is you're going to be aiming your zone right in here. That's where you're going to be aiming your shot. Uh, from that zone right there, you will have to adjust your, for the wind to figure out however many rings you have to adjust for the wind. Plus, and you will adjust an additional 15 rings to the right, uh, to the right side for this shot. So basically, in the end, your shot's going to come out like this. Come back, hit there, top spin, left spin, and for that shot right there, you should land it in this zone and roll it out to right in that right there area. Hopefully, uh, a short iron um, shot at the green, giving yourself a really good chance at the eagle. Um, I think playing this one from either uh, the left side right here or this shot right here is going to give you the best chance at the eagle in my opinion. Uh, so if you are going to play that way um, definitely I would definitely make sure to bring um, clubs with lots of backspin on them because you want to have clubs with lots of backspin when you are approaching that green for sure. Alright, next hole is hole number three. This is a par three. And uh, you can either play this one to the left side or to the right side. Um, back to hole number two, I would definitely suggest either a Titan, a Kingmaker, or even a higher level Powerball for that hole. Okay, so now hole number three, um, Kingmaker or Katana Ball, most likely. Um, as far as your um, club selection, you're going to be looking at a quarterback or a sniper. Um, most likely going to be a quarterback though. Um, and if you're going to play it to the left side, I would say you want to play it with about three to four bars of backspin. Uh, you want to aim your shot somewhere in this zone right here. Okay. So your shot's going to come in like that um, with three to four bars of backspin. You're going to use full right spin, and basically what you want your ball to do is you want your ball to hit, kick up this way, and then bounce to the green and roll down like, like you see I illustrate in the picture. So that's the best way to play that hole to the left side. Now if you want to play your shot to the right side, it's a little bit more tricky, um, but I think it's definitely the better chance at the ace. Um, you want to play it... Um, with about one bar of top spin, you want to land it in this zone right here, and you want when you when you're aiming and setting the shot up, you want the ball guy to just barely be extending over the um, the fringe onto the green. So basically, you want your shot to bounce up here, trickle onto the green, and then from there roll down to the hill, the, the hole. Uh, last time we had this hole, there seemed to be kind of like a just like a a perfect line to the hole from that shot right there. If you could get that ball to trickle onto the hole, you were either going to be just barely in the hole or just right next to it. So we're going to have to wait and see what kind of wins uh, we get this tournament with that shot and see if uh, it's even one that will be possible. You can always play the shot to the right where you, you bounce the, the ball up the hill and it comes back down to the hole. 
but there was a very specific shot that we were using last tournament that gave us a really good chance at the ace. So we'll have to see if that one opens up again for us in this tournament. All right, so we got hole number four here is next. Uh, hole number four, definitely, I would say Titan Ball, King Maker Ball. Um, I like a Thor. Uh, you can use an extra mile. You can use an Apocalypse. Some people even use the Big Topper on this hole. Um, I'm going to draw a line right here because you got to make sure you are on the top side of that line on this hole. If you're on the back side of that line, then um, you are going to be in trouble. Uh, with these trees right here and you will have to curl your shot to the hole so that's why I draw the line there um, and, and more than likely you want to be in this area okay that's where you want to be in that top circled area that is commonly the best area to be that's going to give you the best angle at the hole for that shot um, do keep in mind that your second shot is going to be uphill um, I think somewhere between 10 and 20 percent adjustment is what you're going to need. Some people may say less, but I think it's going to be about at least 10 um, percent of an adjustment for that shot up the hill to the hole. Do keep in mind everything to the right side of that fairway does uh, steeply go down the hill and toward the water, so make sure to stay away from that. I like backspin and right spin for this shot. Do be careful though if you have a left to right side wind. Uh, don't use as much right spin as you normally may because that, that left to right wind is actually going to help push that ball right anyway. So we don't want that extra right push to push you down the hill. So definitely be, consider, uh, be careful of that depending on what kind of wind we do get uh, for the tournament. I like the Sniper. Uh, I like packing the Saturn just in case. Uh, both good clubs um, that uh, can be used on this hole for the second shot. If you get your drive far enough up there, then you will be in a long iron. And that's why I say bring the Saturn. But uh, most likely, most of the time, what you'll see is a shot with your uh, sniper. If you want to play with a guardian, play a shot a little bit closer to the hole with more backspin, you can do that as well. But I think this hole is much more suited for the sniper, uh, just because of the ball guy that it offers uh, and its accuracy. But uh, you could also use a guardian here as well, and that would be okay. All right, hole number five. Uh So we got hole number five here. Um, this is a par five. It's it's very difficult par five to get an eagle on though. So I would definitely not consider this an eagle hole. If you get an eagle on this hole, you're definitely gaining a stroke on the field. Um, I would say either go with the kingmaker or pull out a power ball and use a power ball on this hole. Um, I like the Thor. You can use the extra. Um, you can use the extra mile though as well. Uh, or you could use the Apocalypse. In lower tours, you'll use the uh, the uh, the Big Topper. Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure unless you're going to use like a Berserker Ball or something like that. That the Big Topper will work well here. But if you are willing to spend some uh, some of your good balls on this hole, then the Big Topper may work. I want to say we used the Big Topper in the Pro and Expert last time on this um, on this hole, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, and a lot of it may have to do with the kind of wind that we get off the tee box as well. So we'll have to wait and see about that. Do make sure you do adjust for a minus, I mean a plus 10% um, on the shot off the tee box. Um, for your second club, you definitely want to bring your big dog, um, a very a high level uh, sniper, or a cataclysm. So make sure you have those ones in your bag as well. Um, very quickly, these are the routes that you're going to see. Uh, landing zones right there. Uh, you want your ball to bounce about right there and you do want to get up as far as you can into that fairway. Uh, from that second point you have two options. You can either go left over here and set yourself up for a skip shot with a, like a sniper or something. Uh, or you can take your long um, wood, bounce it right in here, and get up into this zone right here. Uh, from that spot right there you're going to have, to have a, a short iron or a long iron to the hole. Um, Pretty much all of the third shots for this hole are going to go to this little um, fairway area to skip it over to the hole. Make sure you don't use too much top spin because you go do you do go by that hole, your ball will roll down the back side of the green and into the rough. Um, if you do um, get to this right area right here, uh, you can go to the green straight with um, 
with a long iron, possibly. Uh, just definitely make sure you bring one with a lot of backspin if you do want to do that. I think the best play is to skip shot. Um, if you do play your shot from over here on the left side for your uh, third shot, you can possibly go with a rough bump up next to the hole. Uh, I still think that the shot where you skip off the, uh, the patch of fairway right here to the hole is the best option. Um, if you're coming from the right side, you're going to use your uh, long iron with right spin and a little bit of uh, like a little bit of top spin maybe, uh, or none at all. If you're coming from the left side, uh, you will be using your uh, your wood club, and you just have to you just have to play around with your spins uh, so that you do get a nice little hop onto the green. So that is hole number five, and moving right along to hole number six. And we've got a par three right here for hole number six. Um, I would definitely say 10% adjustment off the tee box. Um, I like either bringing the Goliath if, or a sniper. And in my opinion, your shots are either off this little island, which I think in the pro and the expert is a little bit more dangerous because of the winds. Um, depending on the kind of wind that we do get, though, if it's a side wind, uh, you will have the, the rough bump in play right here. Because if you go left or to the right of that of that dot, you're still in the rough. So even a missed great or missed uh, left shot will still be okay. So a lot of that has to depend on the wind as well. Uh, you can go with a rough bump off here, or you can go with a driver off here. Um, the island shot is either going to be a wood or a long iron. If it's a wood, you're going to use four to five bars of backspin. If it's a long iron, you're going to use three to four bars of backspin, uh, aiming it at the hole. If you're going to play your shot off the uh, the rough just in front of the hole, it's going to be, let's see, what did I say? It's going to be about uh, one to two bars of backspin off that rough bump straight up the middle. Um, if you're going to play the rough bump to the left, uh, it's going to be most likely with the quarterback. You're going to use full right-hand spin and one to two bars of backspin for that shot. Okay. Um, if you're going to play the shot to the far left, that's going to be a shot with some sort of a driver, um, a rocket, high-level rocket if you have it, um, possibly a high-level Thor if you have it, but it is going to be more of a backspin shot and not much of a shot that you're going to get the ace on, but a shot to get close to the hole. I personally like the, the middle rough bump or the left side rough bump for, uh, for playing this hole. Uh, so a lot of it's going to depend on the kind of wind that we get though in the end uh, and that's kind of an uncertainty that we have and it may play one way in pro and another way in expert but those are the different shots that are available to you uh, for this hole okay those are the shots available to you for this hole all right and let's see kingmaker ball or if you're going to go for the rough bump, you may want to consider using one of those high wind five balls, wind resistance balls, to knock down that wind as far as you can, uh, so you have a little bit less of an adjustment to make. Uh, so let's just kind of wait and see what kind of a wind we get for that hole before we really make you know a total decision for that. All right, hole number seven. Hole number seven is a it's a fairly tough hole. I like a plus 10% adjustment off the tee box for this one, a Titan Kingmaker. Um, I like the extra mile for this shot. If you got a higher level Apocalypse maybe, you can use that as well. Um, I don't like the Thor just because I don't feel like you have enough curl. And you, This is a shot that you want to have enough curl for. I like the Thor and the top spin. I just don't like the extra curl um, that you need, I think, for this shot. Your landing zone is going to be right about in there. Okay, um, your shot with full top and left spin. Uh, hopefully, you can get your shot over that rough land here and roll up to this front area right there for a really short range min thorn shot. Uh, chances are you might not make it that far. You may hit the rough and roll out to uh, about the middle area of that fairway, in which case you still have a thorn shot. It's just not at min range. If you can figure out a way to get to that front edge of that fairway, that's probably the best chance uh, of the eagle with a min thorn. You know, we all love those min thorn shots. But uh, as long as you get in thorn range, you have a really good chance to get the eagle on that hole. Um, so definitely 
make sure that you are you know paying attention to where you're at uh, when you are taking that second shot your min mid max it does make an adjustment uh, make a difference when you are taking that shot with the uh, with the thorn um, playing that to shot off the tee box if you have um, a right to left wind you won't need to use curl uh, so if we have a right to left wind then the, uh, the thor may be back into play but if you have a left to right wind then you will definitely want to use that uh, a good amount of curl to fight that wind and kind of counteract it um, because you do need the trajectory of that ball kind of angled angled back that way on the tee shot towards that second fairway area um, you can always play the shot to the right side as well um, that's always a way to play it up into this zone right here uh, from there you will have a wood shot to the hole and it's a fairly decent looking shot right there I would definitely recommend taking a sniper if you're gonna go that way the ball guide for the sniper does come in handy for that second shot <clears throat> alright moving on hole number eight Um, this is a par three. This is a hole that we have seen fairly recently, and we even think I saw it, we saw it in the. Uh, did we see it in the golden shot recently? No, I don't think we did. But we had it in a tournament here fairly recently. Um, I would say kingmaker ball or katana ball. That right spin is pretty crucial for this shot right here. Um, you're either going to be using a sniper or probably a quarterback on this shot. Um, if you have a tailwind you most likely can use the sniper if you have a headwind it's most likely going to be the driver um, if you're using the the wood with a tailwind you're not going to need to use a whole lot of spin on this shot now, I like your landing zone about in this zone right there um, the main thing to keep in mind when taking this shot is right spin and you want to get the ball far enough up on this back hill where it has enough energy to roll back to the hole. If you don't get the ball far enough up the hole, up the hill, then you don't have a chance of getting the ace. You're still going to probably get pretty close to the hole, but you're not going to get the ace. That's the reason why I'm, I'm very um, hesitant to put really a lot of uh, like backspin or anything like that on that shot because you don't really want to stop the energy of the ball. So it really becomes one of those holes where you got to kind of like visually see the shot um, and your aiming point you gotta see am I aiming it too far up where the ball may bounce through the green or am I aiming it at the perfect location that's the reason why I kinda like in between those two shadows it seems like a fairly safe spot to aim your shot um, you do want to use right spin on this shot um, and maybe a little bit of curl depending on what kind of a wind you have if you have some sort of a right to left wind then you may want to use a little bit of curl to kind of counteract that wind but if you have a left to right wind I would definitely not say use curl at all because you just let the wind kind of do its work and do its thing and uh, hopefully you can get the ace playing it that way if we do have a headwind and we have to use a driver somewhere around two to three bars of backspin is going to be what you're looking at with the full right spin on this shot so just keep in mind right there um, I like the spin to the right no matter what uh, driver or wood you're going to use but um, yeah, curl is very dependent on the type of wind that we have on this hole. So good luck to you all figuring out that, um, that, perfect, that perfect adjustment for this hole. It's possible. You can find it. And last but not least, we've got hole number nine. And this is the toll hole that we saw not too long ago. I mean, it's a pretty straightforward hole. I say minus 20 to 30%. I think I usually go about 20% adjustment on the downhill shot, so plus 20% adjustment. Um, you're landing your shot in this zone right here. I like to use the big topper, and I like to use a good ball. Uh, the reason I like to do that is because I like to get my shot as far up here as I can. There's that line again. Do not be on the right side of that line. Make sure you get your shot to the left side of that line. If you're on the right side of that line, you got to deal with these trees. That means you got to start worrying about curling your shot and all kinds of things. The last thing you want to have to do is worry about extra things when you're making the second shot to the green. Um, what you want to do is bring a big dog or a cataclysm if you got that. Um, and you want to land it in this zone right here. 
The key to the second shot is taking it where you don't have to overpower it. Okay? You don't want to have to overpower your second shot. You want to use a lot of topspin on your second shot. At least four bars, I would say. Um, the goal is to land your second shot, the second bounce of your second shot, right about there where I marked in the rough. From there, with all that topspin, it should be able to you know, roll it out to the pin. I saw some people get really close to that albatross last tournament, so I'm expecting to see some albatrosses this tournament. So keep in mind, a lot of top spin on the second shot. Land that second hop in the rough, right about in there. Just give it the opportunity to roll out of the rough to the green. It may not make it to the green, it may make it to the edge of the green, that's okay. As long as you're in range for a chip for your eagle, that's fine. Um, also remember that second shot, please try to um, adjust it to where you don't have to overpower the shot. When you have to overpower the shot, that's when things start going haywire on this hole. You don't want to go too far on that second hop because you don't want to land on the fairway because then you'll be in the bunker. You don't want to be too short because then you end up in the rough. Okay, You don't want that. So make sure that you, you do that correctly. Um, there are a few other ways that you can play this hole. Uh, we will briefly talk about those here. Um, if you don't want to play the far shot there, you can lay your shot up. Um, oopsie. Didn't mean to do that. Trash can. Thank you. Delete. Alright, what's going on? Okay. There we go. Other ways to play this hole. You can play it where you lay it up here. Um, and then you'll have a shot most likely bouncing about in here and trying to get up into this zone right here for a chip. Um, that is definitely an option. You can play your shot up to in this zone right here and have a shot across the pond. Um, that is also another option to play this hole. Uh, so you do have other options and ways to play. I would say if you're going to go to that right side up there next to the um, the edge of the, the rough, uh, be very careful because if you go in the rough you're in trouble. And you do want to make sure you have a second shot with a good amount of tailwind to make that shot over the water to the hole. So that is a very wind dependent shot right there. Um, the shot to the left is kind of the layup shot. Um, if this hole's kind of just gotten you in the past, that's also a choice. Um, and you still have a chance to get up there for a chance at the eagle. You just have to have a, a wood with a good amount of uh, hop to it and put yourself in position uh, for you know some sort of a chip, maybe with a thorn, um, but we'll see. I'm not really 100% sure on that one. But uh, yeah, those are some options if you don't want to play the, uh, the straight shot that we talked about at the beginning. I would suggest going with the big shot because you want to make sure you get the eagle on this hole. Uh, medals will not be won this tournament without getting eagles on this hole on hole number 9 and hole number 18. So you definitely want to make sure you get the eagle both times. Two time, two time eagle. So, alright y'all, that's been the pro slash expert guide. Hopefully it has helped you all out. Um, you know, some things on it were a whole lot different than the, uh, the rookie guide, but I think there were a few different things, especially um, maybe the clubs to use um, and stuff like that. Maybe a few different routes of things that you, in ways you can play certain holes. But uh, definitely, I'll thank you all very much for joining me. If you all are still here on the video watching me talk um, and you haven't made your way over to the 19th hole yet on Facebook, please do so. Um, it's a great community where uh, you know the members are there to help each other grow in the game. And if you like playing in the clans, we have plenty of clans over there that still have some room, so definitely make your way over. Uh, drop a message, or you can um, also uh, send me a message on Facebook. And let me, I'm going to write my name down here at the bottom. This is the name that you will add me uh, to on Facebook and send me a message and I will help find you uh, a clan for you. So definitely y'all, thank y'all very much for watching. Uh, take care, go practice them holes, and God bless. Get y'all some gold.